All right, this is going to show you how to create a survey for your school. First thing you need to do is go to the top level site or the top level subsite that you want the survey on. Go to the site contents through left navigation here or up at the wheel at the top. Go to site contents. Go to add an app. and scroll down usually it's at the bottom survey click survey name your survey click create and you'll now have a survey below click on that survey and you can now add your questions go into the settings you can uh, add your questions directly from here, but let's take a look at the settings in here. So these are the settings within survey. So you can actually change the name of your survey right from here. You can add a description. You can um, put in here whether you want the information or the survey to show in that left nav side over here. Uh, and then there's survey options here. Show the name of the uh, survey names in the survey results. So that's basically it's going to take whoever logged into the sur uh, survey and show their name in the list. Um, and here it allows you to have multiple responses from the same person. So that's a determination you have to make. So for now, we're just going to show the names and we're going to allow multi uh, not allow multiple responses and click save. Let's take a look at the advanced settings. So we can look here and you can see that the individuals can read all responses or read responses that created by the user. Well, I don't want my users to see what other people have written in the survey, so I'm going to say read responses that were created by the user. Uh, and under here you have specify uh, which response users allow to create and, and edit. So we're going to create responses and edit responses that they created by themselves. So uh, if you want them to allow them to go in and edit their survey, you're going to keep it here. If you want them to be able to do all responses or none at all, you do none. Um, you can have this information show up in search, uh, indexing, as well as some other ser uh, settings. So let's go click OK and let's take a look at validation and this is if you want to get into more uh, specific uh, validation on who uh, is submitting the surveys but this is more of a uh, uh, more difficult or more it'll be a separate video for this um, so once you have your settings pretty much set up here you can click down here and add a question type in your question and you have multiple options on how they can answer uh, the, the easiest way is also mostly by choice if you do select choice you can then require a response to the question and add your answers in each on a separate line in this box here you can select whether it's a drop down menu or radio buttons uh, you could do check boxes, but that allows multiple selections. If it's just one answer, stick with either radio or drop down. Um, and default. Uh, usually I say default uh, should be blank. This way it requires them to actually select something. If you put the default value of something else, then if the required there's a required response, then it will automatically require give the response. And we don't want to really do that. We want them to actually fill out the um, to make their selection so you can go from here to either your next question or finish I'm just going to click finish for now and then you'll have your question so once you are finished with your survey you can take a look at the survey here you can see the survey name if there's a description the time it was created and the number of responses uh, click on response to the survey respond to the survey and you'll see the survey no matter how many questions it is it'll show here as you can see here here's the choices once you select finish now you'll see that there is one response you can look at that in a graphical summary 
or you can then look at all responses. As you can see, when I said that you're allowed to show the name of the person who created it, you'll see it here. If you select do not show or, or hide, this will be uh, empty right here. It'll be dots. That's how to do make a survey.